Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus Christ. Kingdom family and friends, God richly bless every one of you. It is Monday and some of us, we are back to work today. I pray as you return back to work today, the hand of God be upon you. Receive divine strength in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, someone rightly said, he said, a closed mouth, it is a closed destiny. A closed mouth, it is a closed destiny. And we started reading the book of Genesis. Uh, I said we are going to take a journey, the spiritual journey from Genesis to the book of Revelation. And I pray that God will help us to read through the Bible this year. And as you read the Bible, and I believe God will speak to you, definitely. The Holy Spirit will definitely speak to you because the Holy Spirit is the author of the Bible. Now, yesterday I sent to Rose Genesis uh, just a few notes that I jot down. I'm going to read Genesis 1. I'll read uh, chapter 2, uh, verse 2 and verse 3. Genesis 1, reading from uh, verse 2 and 3. Hear what the Bible says. And they say, And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the upon the face of the deep and the, and the spirit of god move upon the face of the waters and god said let there be light and there was light now there are three things we see here number one form and void the earth was without form and void and darkness the word darkness means calamity problem destruction whatever you might call it but the spirit of the lord we're only moving it does not do anything now if you are in crisis if you're having problem maybe your home in your job in your body the spirit of god is there with you all right but if you don't see anything he will not act he will not when you make a move he will act you see what happened here in the book of genesis the Holy Spirit, we are moving, but it did not do anything. Remember, it is the Holy Spirit that performs whatever God says. He brings it to pass. He enforces the word of God to come to pass. But as, as God declared, what happened? There was light. Now, if you read the book of Mark 16 verse 20, the Bible says, The Lord walking with them. The Lord walking with them. What Lord then mean? The Holy Spirit. It was the Holy Spirit that we're working with the disciple, confirming their words. So if the disciple never say anything, there will, not, there will not be a miracle. For example, Peter and John were going to the temple around 3 p.m. to worship. And as they were about to enter the temple, there was a cripple there. And then the cripple were asking for money. And then Peter said, well, I don't have anything here with me. But what I have, I give you. I have the name of Jesus. Rise up and walk. You have to say it. And the cripple rose up and began to walk. Someone said, a closed mouth is a closed destiny. Don't close your mouth. God said, I have given you a mouth and wisdom. He give you mouth to speak, 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 declare. God believed in his heart and declare what he believes. And what happened? Darkness run away. Problem will go away from you if you say what you believe. And hear what I'm hear what hear what I'm saying right now. When you say what you believe, you have to believe it in your heart and you have to say it in your mouth. This is the law of faith. I want to say this. This is God's law for good success, sound mind, and prosperity. The word you speak are what frames your future what you say determines what you will have i want to quickly pray for you father i pray for your sons and your daughter right now i invoke your power into their lives i decree i declare that your fire surrounded wherever they go i pray that your hand rest upon them and i pray you bless them in jesus name please don't forget we are reading from genesis to revelation this week we are reading from genesis 1 to genesis 30. take your time just take 15 minutes of your time to read the word of god your life will never remain the same again. 
God bless you.